So now moving on to understand Wordsworth's idea and definition of poetry. Now Wordsworth in many ways heralded an age which was a reaction to the previous age of neoclassicism which had strong adherence uh, to the tenets of classical criticism, uh, mainly the uh, rules laid down by the Greek and the Romantic, uh, sorry, the Greek and the Roman critics, right? Now, the Romantic age saw a backlash. It witnessed a backlash and foremost, uh, at the center of this movement were Wordsworth and Coleridge. So, Wordsworth was primarily against uh, the use of elevated theme, elevated language, uh, very literary language, uh, strict adherence to rules, which was observed in poetry. He had a special argument against poetic diction. He felt that it was very offensive to separate poetry from everyday language. It had to be in the common man's language, according to Wordsworth. And poetry also had to reflect day-to-day -day life situations. Uh, poetry had to be close to life because literature, after all, was a reflection of life. And he was against the neoclassical tendency to only take up protagonists or characters who were of noble birth or who were of royal blood or just to valorize certain kinds of people like kings, princes, knights and nobility, right? Because he felt that uh, literature needs to have a common appeal to everyone and not only the matter but also the manner should be very simple and easy to comprehend which is why he wanted poetry to be written in everyday language and he felt that to separate poetry from everyday language is akin to separate it from human life and here i have a quote by wordsworth he says Poetry sheds no tears such as angels weep, but natural and human tears. So here he is taking an analogy from another neoclassical poet and he tries to say that uh, poetry is a reflection. It has to be a reflection of the predicament of everyone's life, of every man's life, every person's life, their ups and downs, not a particular king's life or a particular warrior's life. And he appealed for simplicity in theme and treatment. And I quote him again. He says, it is the honorable characteristic of poetry that its materials are to be found in every subject which can interest the human mind. So he felt that everything around us is worthy of being treated as subject of poetry. And that is how we get so much of nature poetry from the Romantic poets, especially Wordsworth, because they are capable of picking up the most nondescript things in nature, like a flower which is hidden under a rock, or maybe a moss covered rock, or a bridge which no one has noticed. Uh, that's a man made thing, but something which is around us and talk about the beauty, the, the aesthetics of that particular element. That's the high point of romantic poetry, that it celebrates the ordinary. It celebrates everyday life. It celebrates com things that are commonplace, things that we will miss out, uh, things that we ignore because we are in pursuit of higher, so-called higher things. And Wordsworth believed that the primary function of poetry was to give pleasure and not to teach or instruct or moralize or preach. Poetry should be a reflection of one's passions and emotions. It should talk about one's emotional experiences. So this is what Wordsworth's uh, idea of poetry was all about.